Okay, let's start off with untuned harps. We're going to be taking an untuned harp and we're going to be tuning it up to the nearest note. Now the tuner I use now is different than the tuners I've used in the past. What I've been having excellent luck with is a total energy tuner and metronome. I think it was four or five bucks in apps. Um, I'd experimented around with the free apps for tuning. Didn't have good luck with them. The total energy tuner I've had a lot better luck with. It allows you to choose what scale you want to be in. Here I have it in 440 hertz. Sometimes customers request that I tune in 432 hertz. I can switch to that. I can switch to a custom scale. Really easy. But what we're going to be doing today, we're going to switch back to 440, which is a standard tuning. And we're just going to grab, here I have a Morchunga that I just, uh, just readjusted. Let's see what tone we're close to. I'm just going to play it open once. I'm below G2 on it. Let's try Untune Morchang. Or B flat, we're under B flat, about 16 cents, or what pe most people would refer to as A sharp. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to B flat or A sharp, and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to remove a little bit of this material here. Now, in the shop, you can see I'm very sweaty. It's 97 degrees, no air movement in the shop. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take it over the grinder. I'm going to grind just a small amount of metal off that to raise it to note. Here we have, I'm like 17 cents below. I know that that's close enough to take it up. Now when we tune, we don't want to take it up two or three notes. We just want to take it up to the absolute closest note we can. And we're raising our tuning, which is my preferred method. I don't like to do drop tuning. I don't like to add weights. So what we're going to do here is we're going to head over to the grinder slash wire wheel. Now, first and foremost, you're gonna see how sweaty I am. First and foremost, when you're working with the grinder, when you're removing metal, I want everybody to be safe. I'm wearing safety glasses. Whenever I do large volumes of harps, whenever I'm making, I'm wearing either a respirator or a dust mask. We need to protect our lungs if we're gonna be doing large amounts of grinding. The grinder I'm using, I think this is a Craftsman. It's a variable speed. I can turn it up, I can turn it down. Um, for tuning, I leave it turned way down. I have a, an aggressive grid on one side. I have a wire wheel on the other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing this on slow speed and I'm going to be grinding small portions off the edges to raise my note. Now I'm pretty close, 16 cents below is pretty close. So I'm just gonna grind just lightly, light pressure. Now we're gonna shut that off. We're gonna go back over to our tuner now we're back over to our tuner. Let's play it one note open. I'm not gonna apply any technique. I went from 16 cents below to about 10. So I need, a no I need to remove a little bit more off the edges of this trigger. I'd start, especially if I have a lot of weight to the, to the top, I'll start removing there. Now we're back over here to our grinder. I shut my grinder off because I don't want that interfering with my tuner. My tuner will pick that up. I'm 10 hertz below, so I just need to remove a little. We're gonna go one, two. That should get me pretty close. I know I'm gonna be pretty close. So I'm gonna take it to the wire wheel very, very carefully. Careful that the wire wheel does not grab the reed out of your hand. I'm gonna take this burr back off here. I want that to be smooth. I wanna get rid of any burrs off there, especially as I get closer, because even removing a burr, any amount of polishing we do is still going to raise the tuning. Any amount of metal we remove off there will bring our tuning up. We're back over here at our tuner. Let's see where we're at. Ooh, I'm three, three cents below. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back over. I'm gonna remove a smaller amount of metal. We're gonna remove just a small amount. I'm just gonna give it a touch. Touch, touch. I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel. Now I've hit it with the wire wheel. Let's see where we're at. About two cents below. Now what I have here is I have a little shot glass. I have water in it. And I have, this is a cylinder borehone. It's a very fine stone, a very fine wet stone. 
I'm gonna apply some water to it. Now, if you don't have access to cylinder bore hones, I got this from a company that makes, uh, that makes compressors. Okay, it's used for honing out the cylinders. You can use a very fine hand stone. Just anything really fine, I'm just going to put some water on it, just buff. And even, ooh, almost, almost lost my heart there. Even polishing, taking a fine stone to it is removing metal. It's going to raise your tone. I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna make sure that my trigger flows smoothly over the finger. We don't wanna have any rough bits. That not only makes for a harp that doesn't play as well, it throws the precision of the trigger off. Let's see where we're at. I'm down to about 1.6 cents, so I'm getting really, really close. You also need to be conscientious that your trigger, if it's a spiral trigger, doesn't have water in it, because that water will weigh your trigger down, and once it evaporates, you, your tone will be higher. Just gonna rub, rub, rub. Buffing it, and then wiping the all the slurry or all the metal shavings off, because those will weigh down the reed as well. We should be getting pretty close. I like to use the stone when I get close, because if not, I always end up over. I don't want it to end up over, so I want to be right on my note within within one cent is, is where I like to be. We're down to 1.2 cents. We're gonna take it just a little bit further. Pretty close. all the water back out of there. We don't want to hold any water. Okay, after a little bit of polishing, a little bit more adjustment, I'm pretty close. Let's go ahead and let's see where we're at. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a cent to zero. I'm entirely good with that. Now, this is the method that I use for tuning harps. There's also a few other methods you can use. You can weigh it down with beeswax. If you don't have any tools and you want to drop tune a harp, you can press a little bit of beeswax in there and then fall below, below a note and then sand a little bit of that beeswax off. That's a good temporary slash permanent way of bringing the harp tone down. That way you're not permanently doing it. Doing it. Now, this way I'm doing it is permanent, it will stay tuned this way. You can also remove small amounts of metal from the edge of the reed to take a little bit of the spring stiffiness off there. Um, I don't know if stiffiness is a word, but that's not the method I use. I use raising to note. Now just use this on your Morchang, use it on your Mochunga, on any harp you want to tune, go ahead and give it a try. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Harp out. <laughs>